welcome 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 back to my channel welcome back to the cosmic royal family what's good what's well, really good i hope that you guys are doing amazing if this is your first time here welcome and if you guys are returning welcome back all right all right let's go ahead and get into this reading i've already prayed i've already saged i've already um called in the necessary protection I know you also noticed that the um, the comment section is off because, um, yeah, we're going to get to enjoy this reading tonight, okay? Without any demons in the comment section. Bots, any bots. I really think they're bots, but, you know, any distractions, you guys. So, all right. All right, <clears throat> divine ancestors closest to the sun of the pure white light, guardian angels. Wait a minute, let me put some. Because my hands is ashy from cleaning up my kitchen and nobody said a thing. I don't, you can't say anything because the comment section is closed, my bad. All right. Right. <clears throat> divine team closest to the sun or the pure white light <clears throat> what do my collective need to know the most right now what do they need to know the most right now what are we going to be talking about tonight man I had got this download this morning <clears throat> sometimes this morning and pretty much the holy spirit told me that um the 144 are being targeted by uh well not just targeted but attacked by high ranking um entities high ranking demons um so if you if you resonate with being a part of the 144, then um you know what I'm saying is true. The attacks that you're going, you're experiencing, these are not regular attacks. These and the reason why these are not regular attacks is because um these are not regular demons that's doing this. Okay. Um, these demons are high ranking and you know they have some stripes on them for um, doing other things or other, you know, other missions and stuff that they've been on as well. And you are not a regular person. All right. You are not a regular person at all. You got some stripes on you as well. All right. You got you, 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 you laced up in the game. You got badges of honor and you are exalted. So heads up. This is not a regular battle. You are fighting, um, you're, you're being attacked by entities that are up in rank, all right? So, FYI, grow and cultivate, all right? And it came out in reverse. Tell me more, Holy Spirit. Thank you. <clears throat> Life has its ups and downs. And focus on the objective with the crystal ball energy here. Some of you guys may be um, seers. Some of you guys may be seers. You're able to see anything that's coming your way, ups or downs. You know what's coming. Tim more. Yeah, two, two, two. So you're definitely a seer. So nothing slips up on you. Something is about to set sail in your life after some time of stagnancy. Yeah, after some time of something not growing because um, cause, because Grow and Cultivate did come out in reverse. All right? Something is about to move forward in your life, collective. Uh, tell me more, Holy Spirit. Wow, the crystal ball is shattered. So someone's, someone's visions have been distorted lately. And that makes sense because, you know, 
I did I did get word about the high ranking um demons that's been attacking the 144. So something is some something or whatever these energies are, they're trying to distort your visions so that you're not able to see something clearly. Especially like if you if you're a prophet or a prophetess, they're trying to like I heard a mirage. There, it's distorted. Something is something. It has been distorted for you lately. So it's like a lot of you guys may be unsure of if what you saw is really what you saw or what you heard is really what you heard. Look, right now you're you're being asked to question everything. Right now you're being asked to ask for clarity. Pray pray about everything. Um, go to you know your altar space. Go to God, whatever you got to do, ask for clarity about any vision that you get right now, because there is heavy, heavy um, demonic energy surrounding a lot of the chosen collective trying to distort uh, our visions so that we won't grow or we won't move forward from something. We'll stay stuck. We won't move. We won't move forward in a positive way, pretty much to keep you stuck. Wow. Look at this shit. I cannot make it up. Didn't I? I'm done. I'm done. I know. I know what, what. And I'm so glad I prayed before this video. Okay. Yeah. It says hide and seek. Reconnect with your needs. Listen. I knew. I knew that there was a dark entity. That is so crazy. That doesn't, it's trying to like distort your visions or distort. It's, 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 I heard mixed signals, like something about your signals being off or your, the signals being crossed up. It's doing this intentionally so that you won't move forward. Wash your worries away. Yeah. Michael Sward is here. Cut through the illusion. Oh my God. Didn't I say an illusion? That's what it is. Y'all, please be careful what y'all are seeing in your visions right now, um, chosen ones. These entities are giving illusions. They're they're showing y'all stuff that's not real. It's not real. Something that you've been seeing lately in your dreams, this shit is not real. Ignore these spirits. Ignore them and keep going. Ignore them. You have to ignore them. Okay? Um... Also, you guys are, you need to up your protection with this sword energy here. It says cut through the illusion. Yeah, you have to cut through these illusions that these, that these entities are trying to give you guys and distort your visions. And also some of you guys need to do like a protection bath. It says wash the worries away. Somebody needs to do a clearing bath. You need to cover yourself. Um, you need to work in layers. Okay. So if you're doing a protection ritual over yourself, if you're reading Psalms 91, you need to make sure that, you know, you, 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 you're working in layers right now. Okay. You know, you know what that working in layers mean. If you don't, you need to be doing more than one thing at one time to protect yourself. Okay. So if you are putting protection down in your home and the doorways and around your bed and you're carrying something on you for protection at all times, you need to take a protection bath as well. Um, do a, do a, um, some type of protection ritual. That's how you work in layers. All right. Yeah. That is so crazy. Look at this shit. Cause this little girl, she looked like she's afraid. So whatever these illusions are, y'all, you see how she got her face covered up. It's, it's this energy here that's giving you these weird ass illusions or weird dreams trying to, trying to make you afraid. But you have nothing to be afraid of. You have no, They're more afraid of you than you are them. You're, you're the one for four. You're the chosen one. These entities got to come in numbers to try to take you out. Legions. Some of y'all are fighting whole legions of bad spirits by yourself. You doing this by yourself? They gotta. They gotta come in in groups because they can't take you out. First of all, they they can't even take you out in groups. They don't stand a chance by themselves, though. Okay, that's just numero uno. Okay. Um. It says hide and seek, reconnect with your needs. 
But when I looked at this, I, I thought I saw reconnect with your knees because I thought that she was on her knees praying. And, you know, some of you guys need to up your prayer regimen right now. You need to be really, who you know, you need to be really connecting, really meditating, really praying right now. For real, for real. That's going to be your weapon too, is prayer. Yeah. Yeah, that's going to be your covering. You see this thing over her head? That's her covering. You need to be, you need to make sure that before you go to bed, you are connecting, you are praying, you are you are calling in your angels. You know, you are calling in your your um your warring angels, your warring ancestors closest to the sun, the pure white light. You're covering, you're calling in your protection. That's your covering. You need to do that. Hmm. I never felt something was distorted because that crystal ball is shattered. Somebody's trying to, it's like these things are trying to, trying to shatter your vision or something like that. This is not for everybody. This is for somebody specific. Take the bite. So this is like some type of temptation. So don't be tempted. Yeah. Trust yourself with the dragonfly energy here. So somebody's finna get ready to tempt you. The yeah, there it is. One four four likes in here. This is definitely for the one four four k of you guys. Okay, somebody, the enemy is about to use somebody from your past to tempt you. <clears throat> with, oh, I'm sorry. With bite the apple energy here and dragonfly, you gonna have to trust yourself. You gonna have to trust your intuition right now. You guys are about to be tempted. This is going to be just another attack. Okay? It's going to be just another attack. Ain't nothing changed, baby. Ain't nothing changed. That's how I know that there's something really, really big and phenomenal that's coming. Like, God is about to... Um, God is about to knock your socks off with this next blessing that's coming in because, you know, this is heavy warfare. You Y'all not fighting and defeating little ranked entities, little small shadow people. You're fighting high-ranking demons, okay? And you're doing this by yourself. Why are they coming at you so hard? To the point where they're trying to distort your vision or something like that. Some of y'all, you've been having more nightmares lately or you just been, I don't know, maybe your sleep been off or you've been waking up at a certain time every night, you know, 3 something, 3.40, 3.45, 4 o'clock. Sometimes what I notice is that um, they'll try to trick you where they won't, you know, they'll try to come around you at another time instead of like three something. But you so tapped in spiritually that you're going to wake up anytime anything negative come around you, your spirit going to warn you. Your higher self going to warn you. Your spirit team going to warn you. They're going to say, get up. So, so you might find yourself instead of waking up at three something you might wake up at five something you may wake up at four something that's because these shadow energies are trying to um surprise attack you but they can't never catch you off guard because you so covered like you so like your your team got you covered so they all they're gonna wake you up no matter what no matter what collective they're gonna wake you up but, you know, when you are, if you wake up at a random time, don't go back to sleep. You're supposed to get up. You're supposed to save your house out. You're supposed to pray. You're supposed to call in protection because that's your spirit team trying to warn you something that's off in the spirit. Don't just lay there and say, oh, I'm going to go back to sleep. No, 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 no. Don't do that. Get up. <clears throat> Tip me more. So you got, you got somebody about to try to come in. Let's look at this gargoyle energy here. You got somebody um, finna try to come in and tempt you. Yeah. You probably already cleansed this person out your life with wash your worries away. Yeah, Ace of Swords energy. You probably already cut this person off. They could be blocked or something like that. Mm. Silence your inner demons. Yeah, ground yourself. And watch your step. Yeah. So spirit is saying that you need to, you need to, you need to, and you see she's cloaked. Some, something, this energy is going to get ready to try to sneak up on you. 
some of you guys need to pray so that you can be cloaked as well. Some of you guys need to do some type of grounding work. You need to go get connected with nature or something like that. Like you need to keep yourself grounded. So you also like that, that'll help you not to be affected by something. You need to ground. I heard, what is this root, root, root work? Ground yourself, silence your inner demons. I'm gonna clarify this energy. Watch your step. Hmm. Okay, I'm, I gotta know. Because there's a cloaked energy here. What is this? Better days are coming. Yeah. So it's important that y'all are watching y'all step right now. Y'all got to be extra careful, collective. Extra careful because because look like they sent they they didn't send the big the big guns after you. They they didn't send the the heavy hitters after you. You got to watch your step right now. All right. You got to be very very careful. Everything you do could it could be a it could be a setup could be a test. I don't know. Okay, but you you are being heavily watched at all times by these monitoring energies. They're trying to stop you from moving forward and, and like meeting your destiny. It's something about your destiny, something or somebody that you're supposed to meet or something you're supposed to have. Tell me more. Something is crucial. What is this? Tell me more, Holy Spirit. Express yourself. Some of you guys need to do more journaling. You need to do like a like write out what you're going through and burn it. Yeah. Embrace vulnerability. Okay, so I'm gonna say this because I feel like this is a significant. Okay, I'm talking to y'all and I'm talking to myself too. There's a lot of monitoring spirits lingering around the chosen collective right now in the energy. I don't know if y'all noticed it. We got to stop saying stuff out loud, write it down and burn it because we are constantly being monitored by these, whatever the hell these are, these monitoring spirit spirits. So stop talking, stop saying stuff out loud. If you can keep from it, your blessings, what your plans are and things like that. Because sometimes we tell the enemy how to attack us. All right. Thank you. See, take your power back. You have to take your power back. This is the Ace of Cups energy here. Tell me more. And then I'm going to get into this energy. This temptation is coming in. Something. They're going to try to tempt you. I don't know why they think you slow or something. Because you're definitely not slow. I feel a lot of you guys, you already know that this is coming. Yeah, you're going to have to practice your, you have to keep your composure. Yeah, you're going to have to keep your composure because somebody's trying to come in or this energy is going to send somebody back from your past to make you lose your composure. This person might try to trigger you, try to set you off. Somebody's going to try to get you up out your body, get you to act up. That's why I said silence your inner demons. Whoever this person is, this is somebody who you don't even, you know, this you don't really like this person for real. Like you don't hate them, but you wash your hands with this person. And this is somebody that can trigger you like nobody else can trigger you. I don't know who this person is, but this person is just an agent. They just an agent, okay? For the for the enemy. This person is going to be sent in to trigger you. That's why they're saying silence your inner demons. Do not cut the fuck up. Don't do it. Don't do it. Okay, because you powerful as shit. And in what this thing wants you to do is, is, is cut up, act out so it can try to siphon your energy, siphon your gifts, or get you to lower your vibration just low enough for it can latch on to you. You know, it's something weird like that. It's a it's a it is a it's a big reason, it's a hidden reason why this the enemy is finna send somebody to get you out your body, to make you get out of your character. If you don't know what out your body means, it means out your character, okay? Out of, outside of your normal self, who you normally are. This is a, this is a, a hidden agenda here, all right? 
but they say practice composure. Please practice composure. Okay, don't 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 change who you are, the how you normally vibe and operate because some some nut nut gonna try to come in and say something silly or do something silly, you know, to trigger you. No, forget them. Ignore ignore them. Okay. This is so that you will get lost again. It says choose a clear path. This is to confuse you so that you will get lost again. Because I'm telling you, it's so important that you do not get lost right now. It is so important that you don't get lost right now, collective. I heard um, almost there, almost there. People are going to come here from everywhere. Cause I'm almost there. Yeah, you it's you almost there to whatever this is, whatever blessing this is, you almost there. You almost there. Um, Princess and the Frog could be significant. New Orleans could be significant. You could be a Cajun. Okay. You could be French. Um, you can be from the South. You don't have to be. You could have recently visited New Orleans. Okay. Um, Southern food could be your favorite. Um, you could have a lot of family that live in the South. I don't know. It's something about the Southern region. Okay. Um, yeah, it's something about where you're going. Something has set sail for you and you almost there. And that's why they done sent this heavy hitter because them little boys couldn't get you. You too, you too tough in the spirit. Your spirit way too, way, way. Nothing can stop me. I'm all the way up. Yeah, you can't nothing stop you. So, of course, the enemy had to try to send his, his what he feels like is the secret sauce and your God's secret weapon. So, we're going to see how this go, right? Um, but I already know, you know, see, the battle is not yours anyway. It's God's. So, you're fine. You're fine. Give me another message for the collective. This is why they're saying you need to get rooted. You need to be grounded. So whatever this next attack is going to be, you have to be grounded. You got to be so grounded and rooted in yourself that you are unshakable and unmovable. I don't care what the enemy say to you, do to you. I'm talking about somebody could just somebody could literally walk up and slap you. And you, you, you might just let them slide and walk off and say, you know what, bitch, you ain't even worth it. I'll call the police on you. Fuck you. You finna go to jail in hell okay like because it's kind of getting that this like somebody may try to get physical with you like it's this is going to be a test of all tests this is going to be a test of all tests the enemy is going to pull a bold ass move a bold move to get you out your body and because some of y'all you are you you like me i don't care what you say i don't care what you say to me just don't put your hands on me you don't put your hands on me we good you can say what you want. You can call me every name in the book. As long as you don't touch me, we good. See, this is on some, the, the enemy might make somebody touch you to get you to react. Just to get you to react. Because let's just be honest, you know, negative energy, know what our pressure points are. Okay. This is why you got to work on staying rooted and grounded, collective, for real. Or this person may say or do something to you that you might reach out and touch their ass. Hell, I don't know. I don't know. All right. Don't be, don't be, don't be, don't, don't do that. Cause that's just what the enemy wants. The please don't, don't. You gotta starve the spirit. You have to starve the spirit out. Starve them. Don't give them nothing. Give me another message for the collective. Yeah, this is to get you stuck on a or bait you back into a karmic cycle or something. Thank you. Mm. Yeah, unlock potential and the trophy room. Try your best. Yeah, you about to win it. You about to win something. You are about to unlock a door that's about to lead to an ultimate victory with the trophy room. That's what this is about. Okay. And let me tell you something else the spirit just told me. You, whoever this high-ranking entity is that sent you, the mission was for them to bring your head back. I just want you to know. You that powerful. You, you are you are like the prize possession, the big game. You the big, you're big game. Okay. Um, 
It's like, it's really giving like the devil just really wants your head in his trophy room type shit. Because you that powerful. That's never going to happen. That's never going to happen, collect. If you ever hear somebody say that chosen ones are targeted from the moment that we we're born, you would be considered the, the hunts of all hunts, the win of all wins if this entity can bring you back. Okay? But what this thing don't know is that it's about to meet its end. It's about to meet its end playing with you and playing with your spirit team because God don't play about you. At all, collective. You about to open up some door that's about to, this is like the door that opens up all doors. This is the door that leads to everything that you ever prayed for, everything that you ever manifested, everything you ever dreamed of, everything you've been waiting for, collective, everything that you deserve, that you've been waiting for, and you've been sitting back waiting on your turn. This is your turn. This is more than what you asked for behind this door. You about, to, you, about to, you about to bring this demon's head back. That's what he don't know. Whatever this is, you a headhunter. You are a headhunter. Okay? Dang. Lord, what in the French toast? This, I was not expecting this reading to get this deep. I was trying to get in and get out. Get in and get out. And spirit say, no, ma'am, Pam. You ain't recorded all day. And we've been trying to get this message out. Okay? Whatever. <laughs> give me a give me another one. Cause I, I still want to get into this whatever this shit is they trying to tempt the collective with. And I know it's about your gifts. I know it's about your gifts collective. Look at that altar. Keep the faith. Didn't I say? Didn't I say, oh my God, swamp. Didn't I say this somebody specific? You from Louisiana, baby. So you from Louisiana, you, you was born and raised, I heard raging Cajun, you are, you could be a Cajun, okay, or you're, you just have family born in the South, because look at this swamp energy here, somebody was born in the Southern regions, for real, for real, okay, um, I also said that you may have to, you want to spend more time at your altar, even if you're not from the South, and you ain't never seen a swamp a day in your life. OK. You got to spend more time at your altar, baby. Mm -hmm. It says altar, keep the faith. It says swamp, wade through carefully. One thing about the swamp is full of gators. It's full of water moccasins. OK, it's full of things in here that could that'll eat your ass alive. So in the swamp, it's murky. You can't see through this. So whatever is going on right now or whatever is coming, it's, it's like swamp. It's going to be like the swamp. You're going to be creeped the hell out. You ain't going to be able to see shit. You're going to have to keep your faith. You're going to have to tread carefully. It says wade through carefully. Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay? But you're going to be good. You're going to be good. Spend more time at your altar. It says trust the process. You're going to have to trust the process right now. You're going to have to trust your spirit team right now. Right now, whatever this, this attack that is coming or you guys could be going through right now. Because I heard it's here. So you currently going through this. A lot of you guys are currently going through this. You're going to have to trust your team. Right now, your spirit team is going to be your, 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 uh, your right hand. Praying and connecting with them. Connecting with your angels. Um, connecting with Most High. This is going to be your God and light and your protection and your covering right now. And this is, it's, it's, it's about your gifts. It says, be careful what you wish for. I just saw cowboys. This say cobwebs, but I swear I saw cowboys. Someone could be from Texas. Someone could be from Texas. Someone grew up on a ranch. Someone loved horses. Somebody loved horses. Okay. Somebody had a, uh, a Shetland pony. When they were a kid, somebody had a paint horse. Someone um, did the barrel competitions or something like that. Hmm. <sighs> Somebody's grandpa was into horses. I don't know that this man owned a ranch. I see a tractor. This was a farmer. Was he a farmer? I heard Farmer Brown. This man was a farmer. He's protecting you. This is for somebody who sent their their pawpaw. 
is protecting them. He's one of your strongest protectors with this. He grew up, you grew up on a farm or he grew up raising, he had farmland or something. He, he farmed for himself. Hmm. All right. It says, be careful what you wish for. Make something memorable. So something about your gifts. So whatever this is, they're going to try to use what you wish for or what you try, what you manifested against you. You know, the devil always going to try to get there before God gets to you. Normally, the attack comes before the blessing. We all know this. Okay. Let me pull another deck. Because I just want to know. I just want to know what this is about. Holy Spirit, um, I need you to clarify the temptation energy here. I need you to clarify the temptation energy. Yeah, this is somebody who already done backstabbed you. This is whoever they're going to come back and they're going to try to use to tempt you. This person already backstabbed you. And it's about the key. Yeah, divine masculine. So this person, I don't even think this is your divine masculine. This person ain't your divine masculine, whoever this is. I'm sorry. This is like, you finna meet your divine masculine or you finna meet your divine feminine. This is a fraud. And I feel like you call, you, you, you caught on that this past person was like a false flame or something. But they gonna try to come in acting like they, they you know, they got it together or whatever. They gonna try to come in acting like they got, you know, the key to life. You got the key to life. You got what this, what, what he want, what he needs. Didn't I, didn't we just get done talking about the key collective? Hold on. We just got done talking about the key. Remember I said that here it is. It says antique key period. Yeah. Whatever this is that the reason why they're attacking you so heavy is because there's a key that you have. You already got this key. Spiritually, you already got this key. It was gifted to you. This key unlocks every door to every blessing imaginable to man. Whatever you put your hands on at this point is going to be prosperous beyond your wildest dreams and imagination. And the enemy want this gift that you got. You got the gift. You got the gift to, to turn anything into a million bucks. This door is going to open. It's, it's, this is the door of all doors that you have the key to this. So somebody that backstabbed you, some masculine that backstabbed you or whatever, finna get ready to come in. They're going to try to use him to tempt you because it says love offer and it says rat energy. This, yeah, look at that left hanging period. This person left you hanging. And, and, I, and just because it say divine masculine, this man is not a divine masculine. They're telling me that he he tried to cloak himself in divine masculine energy. So you thought that this was your divine masculine and they backstabbed you. You thought this was your divine masculine. You remember we was talking about the illusion earlier. We was talking about the illusion collective. This person left you hanging. Whoever this man is, he left you hanging. Yeah, spirit said that he 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 he's a rat. He's a rat. Greedy, deceptive. He's a coward, sneaky. All right. Yeah, and he's an opportunist. And he's very charming. This is a very charming energy. That's oh, uh-uh. Tell me more, Holy Spirit, about this situation here. Because I heard pose. He's going to try to come in and pose. Whoa, like he's your divine masculine. He's not STD. This person could possibly have an STD. Whether this is a sexual transmitted disease or a spiritual transmitted disease. This person could have caught something. Whether they got rid of it or they still got it. Of course, infectious. For some of y'all, this person caught something from somebody. And they may try to give it to you. They, they, they're not gonna. They're not gonna tell you that they caught something. Others, you guys, they did cure themselves, but I don't know. Okay. 
It says, return back to sender until you do right by me. Everything you think about is going to crumble. Mistreating others curses oneself. Heal through kindness and respect. Yeah, this, this person got karma. They got karma. Whoever this is, this man or somebody in masculine energy has gotten karma. They're getting their karma already. They got karma for backstabbing you. And let's just say for, for kicks and giggles that they was your divine masculine because twin flame is here. So for a small percentage of you guys, this was your twin. But this, this person lost their soul to the dark side because twin flame is here. Yeah. They lost their soul. They lost their spiritual gifts and they are in sorrow. That's just for a, a, a few amount of you guys. And if this was your twin who lost their ranking, lost their wings, and is now being op fully operated through um, by this entity, you have a replacement that's coming in because the show must go on. The show must go on, collective. Yeah. Tell me more. Somebody want to play on your sympathy. They want to play on your empathy. Stubbornness is whoever this person is. They were stubborn. Maybe, maybe God tried to warn this person. Maybe they ancestors, maybe they team. Somebody tried to warn them. Maybe you tried to warn them. You know, this person could have fell from, you know, fell from grace because they didn't listen. Maybe they didn't want to listen to you with the stubborn energy here. It says stubborn silence, someone refusing to listen, especially when the truth is tough. It's a nudge to open up and really hear what's being said, even if it bugs you. True growth starts when list starts with listening, even when you'd rather not. Somebody don't want to listen. Yeah, somebody not want to listen. Here it is, period. Okay. It says clown shit. Not my circus, not my monkeys, but I know the clowns. Yeah, and it says the beware of the charmers pack. This masculine made a pact with the enemy about this key. Here it is. It's all about the key. It's all about the key. And whoever you are, you got the key. You have the key. Okay? This person could have lost them, lost their soul on this journey, been working with the enemy to try to get the key from you. So that the so that the devil could use the key, use your gifts for his on his personal use. It says a warning unfolds against the bearer barrier of keys empowered by dark forces to unlock and consume the essence of the unwary granted access by the shadows. This key does not seek connection. This key holder does not seek connection, but depletion aiming to drain your energy and spirit, protect your inner sanctuary, discern true intentions and resist the seductive guise of those who come bearing gifts of darkness. 313 life's in here. This person is, uh, mm, any gifts they got, they got it from the devil. Any, any little extra gifts they got right now, they got, they got it for, from the enemy and they're going to, they're using them to um, serve, to serve the devil. That's just what this is. I mean, I don't know. No other way to say this. But they're going to come in acting like they mourning and they need healing and they don't reflect it and they don't grew and they want your forgiveness. And I'm just so depressed and woe is me. But the whole time, the whole time, this is a freaking setup. The whole time, that's what this is. This person has, they're on a mission. They're on some type of mission. So you see this key on his finger and this key right here, they're on a mission to get this damn key from you. The key that unlocks all doors to the kingdom. Okay? That's what that's what they want. Mm. Wow. Why this reading got to be so deep? Jesus. Can we just get some peace? Can we get some peace? Okay? So, you know, you're going to have to use your discernment with spiritual gifts. You have to use your discernment. Use your gifts. It says healing, prophecy, discernment, wisdom, knowledge, faith, miracles, tongues, empathy, intuition, clairvoyance, clairsentience, clairaudience, telepathy, visionary, and intercession. You may have all of who I'm talking to. You got every last one of these. Okay? 
And that's why, that's why they've been after you so heavy. You ain't, you don't just operate in a little bit. You operate in everything. You operate in everything. Look at that power, the crow energy here. Um, mystery, intelligence, transformation, adaptability, magic, guidance, resilience, insight, silent watcher, and good omen. And you have a like, you have a lot of spiritual hidden helpers too. Also, if you guys are not um, subscribed to my Twin Flame channel, 1111 Star Lovers, um, what are you waiting for? Make sure you do that. I'll, um, I will put that at the top of the comment section as, long, as well, along with my, um, my spiritual shop, the mystic shop online.com. I'll put that at the top of the comment section as well. Give me another message for the Divine Collective. Yeah, this is somebody you cut the cord. You cut the cord on this person collective. Yeah, this person was double-minded and unstable in all his ways. It says the inability, the inability to think rationally or make simple decisions, double-minded. A double-minded person is restless and confused in his thoughts, his actions, in his behavior. Such a person is always in conflict with himself. Yeah, the reason why this person is, is acting all double-minded and weird and shit is because they, this person is being operated through by the devil. The devil got this person's head elfed up. Okay? That's why. It's kind of like a possession. That's why, collective. So you need to do some type of cord cutting. I don't know if you already did a cord cutting. You need to do another cord cutting. Um, some Take a coffee bath. All right? Take you a coffee bath. Get you some black coffee. Um... You can get the little mesh, the little uh, mesh bags, put the coffee in there and boil it, boil it on the stove. That's good for clearing energy off you too. All right. And it's like, you can also put your protection herbs in there as well. Coffee also um, speeds up your work. So, you know, if you need the, a clear, uh, you need a fast protection, you can put you some coffee in there. Clearing, you need to speed that clearing up, put you some coffee in there. All right. Yeah. Tell me more. Ladies, let me say this. If you are taking spiritual baths, make sure you put you some spanks on. Do not get in that water and your Girl Scout cookies are just floating in the water with all those herbs and coffee and all kind of stuff. Put you some spanks on. Put, your, put you some undies. If you got to put two pairs of spanks on, do what you got to do because you know your, your sacred wound is really precious. And if you like me, I'm super sensitive to anything would throw me the fuck off. I don't care. It could be, I can barely use sensitive stuff made for sensitive people. All right. So I just had to tell y'all that because I love y'all. Put you some spanks or something on if you, if you, if you put, if you do the clearing in, in a tub. Okay. All right. Oh, look. There it is. There it is, collective. Look at that. This person is a maniac. Yep. And the reason why this person is so mentally effed up because this person is being operated through by the devil. This person has no control over their mind and their thoughts and their actions. And they're, they're being told to come towards you with a love offer. Come towards you and charm you so they can take take what you got or get you to lower your your standards and get you to lower your um your vibration so that so that the enemy can latch something on to you. Otherwise, he he'll never be able to latch on to you because you're too you're too powerful, you're too high vibrational. You don't vibrate, you don't vibrate low enough for no stupid stuff like this to get on you. Like this is nothing. Like what the no? That this would never stand a chance of getting on you. You know, you 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 just I don't know, you you just too high vibrational collective. You don't even hang around foolish people for real. Okay. Um, let me read this. It says a maniac ex-lover is obsessively controlling and possessive, unable to let go. They stalk, manipulate, and ex exert undue influence over their ex, driven by delusional sense, do, driven by a delusional sense of entitlement to their affection. This behavior is a toxic mix of insecurity and a refusal to respect boundaries, posing a significant threat to their ex's well-being. That's why it is so important that you stay away from this person. That's why. 
Because this, this the type of person would snap and do something crazy to you because they are being operated through by this high ranking entity who been waiting for the chance to take you down and take this key from you. Take your gifts from you. This is crazy. You got a new spiritual bait that's coming in. I felt that. I felt that. I felt you had somebody new that was coming in collective. Because I knew it was something about a blessing that was coming. I, I knew one of the blessings was a new spiritual bag. Yeah, income and communication. This is coming in. You got some communication coming in from a new partner, a new spiritual bay energy here. Yeah. Hidden pregnancy. It says concealed, secretive, un unveiled, unrevealed, mysterious, undisclosed, private, guarded, and silent. But I don't, this, okay, so I don't really think this is actually a pregnancy. This is a hidden new beginning. You know, pregnancies are significant to new beginnings. It's no mistake that that came out with new spiritual bay. You have a new beginning that's being hidden from you right now. That's what this is. Ooh, okay. Um, let me pull from this deck. Then I'm gonna wrap it. Okay, they don't want me to pull from this deck. Uh, they want me to pull from this deck. Ooh, hopefully the shit can't get uglier. But I guess it's still because you have a heads up. So you know, a win is a win. A win is a win. Collective, you got the warning. You know how to protect yourself. I told you to pray more. Don't let your guards down, work in layers, do your protection work in layers. You shouldn't, you know, just be putting protection down in your house. You should be praying to, you should be keeping something on you for protection at this point as well. All right. You should be taking seesaw baths at least once a week or, you know, doing something to protect yourself. You should be doing something every day. If at least if it's something small, even if it's something small to protect yourself, you should be working in layers at this point. So it's a win. It's a win. We got that point out. Okay. All right. Ooh, no wonder. No freaking wonder collective. Lord Jesus, Louisa. For some of y'all, this is a fallen twin. This is a fallen. This is a fallen twin. Yeah. And look at that. You a spiritual general. High rank to high honor. No wonder they had to send a high ranking entity because you high ranking yourself. Didn't we just say this? They can't send no scraggler. They can't send no little low ranking demon. The hell? What? They got us. They have to send some shit that has some extra power because you a lot. Okay. <laughs> and you a spiritual warrior too. What the hell? They had to go get they best of the best of the best, sir. Cause you doggone show is the best. You, 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 uh, you a vet in the game. You really good at what you do. Okay. <laughs> they better call Ghostbusters or something. Because, baby, when you come, you clearing them out. You airing them out. Okay. <laughs> Y'all heard you ain't holding no prisoners. Everybody got to go. Everybody going. Yeah, so this is a fallen angel. Usually this is twin flying. For some of y'all, it's a fallen angel. Lost their spot. Working for the devil. Under heavy demonic influence. Think, you know, the enemy think they can use your counterpart because this person was the closest thing to you before they lost their light. This little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. This person lost their light. All right. But they step in, they step into the wrong person, step in, step into you. I would not, I would not recommend that. I would not recommend that at all. Mm, mm, mm. Look at that. Yeah, you a generational curse breaker? I would not recommend that. Mm -mm. You too skilled in the game collective. You too skilled. This is not your first rodeo. This is not your first rodeo. All right? Tell me more, Holy Spirit. Thank you. Lou, look at this. This player. So this fallen twin was a player. That's probably how they lost their soul. Got convicted by God, lost their wings, lost their halo, lost their little light. Now they just working for the shadow side, living in a living in the um in the darkness, 
living in a little dark places in the world right now, trying to get a little bit of your light, but they can't get your light. And you're going to let it shine. You could be a high priestess. Very powerful. Look at that. Mm, mm, mm. I tell you. I tell you. Very tapped in. Look at this. I'm sorry. I miss you so much. Please forgive me. I'm regretful. I'm regretting, but we already know what this is. We know what this is about. This is about your gifts. This is about your mission, your purpose, your ranking, that key that most high entrusted you with before you came here. Yep. Like I said, this fool is a liar. They gonna come in to my some, I regret this. I'm so sorry. Da 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 pathological lie you came right out to clarify what i said we ain't making this shit up collective all right this person is lying they're being used by the entity at this point and they are doomed and cursed to work hard for the rest of their life possibly until this energy right here come along because of what they did to you and how they betrayed and forsaken and abandoned their twin on this journey or their divine partner on this journey how they sold they soul. And they, this person just handed over their halo for riches, wealth, superficial lifestyle, promises of riches. They didn't get nothing in return. By the time this person realized that it was a trick, it was too late. It was too late. You was gone. They lost you. There it is. Whoop. There it is. Demonic attachments. By the time this person realized that the shit was too late, it had hit the fan they had already put these chains and shit on, 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 on young man legs and arms. You can at this point, this person can't get away from this shit. You, this person sold they sold. Look at that. They was arrogant as shit. Didn't even know this person was so arrogant. When they, when this person, whoever this is that's coming through, when this person betrayed you, when they crossed you, when they did whatever they did, they chose the losing team over you collective. They was arrogant about it. Didn't even know that this was a setup. This was a setup. You couldn't tell this person nothing. Spiritual court, they got summoned to spiritual court. They lost. They lost, okay? Mm, mm, mm. Yeah, they lost. I don't know what they was thinking. They got up there and got embarrassed in spiritual court. Baby, the council, the council and most high ate this person alive in spiritual court. They didn't stand a chance. Them and their ancestors was put to shame. This person cursed their bloodline. They cursed their bloodline for this. I heard an abomination. All right. This person is, look, financial karma. This person is being cursed with also with financial karma as well. Mm. This person cursed their bloodline because they sold out. It's always like that. They sold out. This person was promised the riches. This person came with a divine inheritance, but this person gave their divine inheritance to the devil. They didn't want it. They gave it away. A gift, gift from God, they had one too. They gave it away. Now they want yours. Nope. See what the devil's going to do. The devil took their divine inheritance from them and is trying to get this, use this person to steal yours too. See, what the enemy was going to try to do is take all of them because he a greedy bastard. So he was going to try to get, he got this fallen person, whoever this person is from your past, the devil took this person's divine inheritance, took their wealth, took their blessings, okay, using them for himself and, and was going to trick this person, use them to come in and steal yours too and try to get yours too. But you got too much protection. It says ancestral protection shield. You are being protected. Of course you are. Of course you are. Look at that. Dang, you got ancient protection. I'm telling you, this is why they had to send the heavy, the heavy hitters. Because you, your protection ain't just of this realm. You have ancient knowledge that you carry. It's something about this. This is y'all. This is this is higher level intelligence that you have, that you have access to, wisdom, gifts, magic. Man, listen. <laughs> yep. Don't you know no good? Don't you know no good? I guess they don't know no damn better. They finna find out. So the help you got is different. 
You got help from. I heard, oh, listen. Let's just say your ancestors ain't a human. Let's just say that you think you think your ancestors are human and they're not. This is very given star star seed, okay? Alien baby. You your ancestors, somebody's ancestors ain't even human for real. You come from a, a You a different breed. Let's just say that. Let's just say you a different breed. How about that? Let's just say you a different breed. Letters from grandma. Yeah. So you could have got, you could have got um received downloads or messages from your grandmother. Or she's gonna be communicating with you real soon. Yeah, you a different breed, all right. Yep, and you a gift from God. You a gift. Anybody life you anybody life that you come across. Anybody that you grace, grace with your, with your presence, you are a gift. You always the gift. And people really be fools and, and drop the ball with you. They, people really choose a fool's journey and betray you and discard you. Knowing they throwing a, they don't even know they throwing a whole blessing away. They throwing a whole gift away. You got the key. And that's the thing. When you chosen, you want for 4K, God uses his chosen ones to bless others. When he sent his chosen, he is sending the one, he's sending the key holder. And people really sit up and do people dirty, not even knowing they're entertaining an angel. You know, they say, be careful who, be careful how you treat people because you may be entertain, entertaining an angel. And that is true. You the key holder. People do you dirty, not even knowing when you leave, you take the keys with your doors that could have been open, won't even be opened up. Blessings that they were supposed to get, they won't even get. Doors that you did open up, you close them and then you leave. And I know somebody feel like God ain't giving that people that much power. No, he ain't. He give his kids power like that. Look at that 411 likes in here, periods, because I knew what I felt. Somebody said that. She lying. Ain't nobody. God ain't giving um, humans that much power. Yeah, he right. He ain't giving humans that much power, but he damn sure give it to his kids for sure. Okay. <laughs> so show you right, Ray Ray. <laughs> you right. You right in. You wrong. Tell me more, Holy Spirit. Yeah, 414. Yeah, divinely protected children. Yeah, you are, you are a child of most high. He give his he he give his kids the keys. He give his kids the keys to the kingdom. You 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 come in and out as you please. And didn't we say it says spend time at the altar, give offerings. It's here again. Altar is here twice, y'all. You really need to be at, if you don't listen. If you got if you got one, this is for if you have one. It came out twice clarifying. Yeah, cuz look, the devil is busy. The devil is busy, so spend time in prayer. Even if you don't have an altar, it ain't, ain't going to hurt you to spend a little time in prayer and meditation, talking talking to, you know, talking to the big guy, you know. Look at that bitter-ass karmic and thief. Yeah, this past person is a, is a karmic. And they're just, their assignment is to come back and steal from you. And it's this old lover. It says, old lover returns. Here it is. Here it is. <laughs> Oh, love a return. Their assignment is to come in and steal. Yep. They're being operated through through the Jezebel. And if this is a man, he is a Jezebel. The spirit of Jezebella is, 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 is working through this man to uh, get to you. If this is a woman, she's a Jezebel. All right. All right. Um, I'm going to pull these little circle cards right here. And then, you know, I'm going to go take me a little coffee break. Then I might be back in with another one. April could be significant. Oh, don't fail me now. She don't want nobody else but me and only me. Um, getting together with friends. Take care. Enemies are working against you. Duh. Yep. Of course. That's what this whole. That's what this, gosh darn it. That's what this whole reading was about. Somebody, the enemy working, working. It says, take care. Enemies are working, working against you. 
Okay, this this person could be collabing with somebody else on how they're going to attack you or whatever. Someone is behaving stupidly. Yep, a bunch of stupid people. This person is stupid, prideful and stupid, all right, because it's not going to work. This person could be born in February. They could be born in April. Yeah, it says, Shield, you need to defend yourself. What we got, what, what we just got doing talking about? Huh, Sugar, didn't I just say? You need to be protecting yourself right now. You need to be working in layers. Didn't we just get done talking about that? You need to put up the, the full, you need to put the full armor of God on right now at this point, collective. It shouldn't be a day going by that you ain't praying right now. Right now, um, protection prayer should be on repeat for you every day. On repeat every day. Whoa, now what we say? Look at that. It says opportunities are waiting for you. Didn't we just get done saying it's some, something most high, the universe, whatever the hell you believe in, it's about to open up a door for you that's about to lead you to everything you ever asked for and more. Didn't we just say that? And you got the key. You got the key. And the enemy trying to knock you smooth about the game right before you stick this key in the door. It is finna open up. the. This is finna, this lead to your, this is going to lead you to your wildest dreams. It's about this door that you about to go through that they just, they are so determined. Look under the deck, good news. Cause period, this is about, this is about what's behind this door for you. That's what this is about. You just don't even know. You don't even know what blessings finna have come for you. <sighs> Club, someone, someone will try to make you do something against your will didn't we just say earlier, I said, this person finna try to make you act up. This person finna try to make you cut up. Somebody finna try to like literally trigger you so you will lower your vibration. Someone is going to try to make you do something against your will. You don't want to act up. You don't want to retaliate. Somebody going to do something you don't want to retaliate against them. And if you do, then you lose. Okay. If you do, you lose. That's what this is about. Romance, celebration, and party. For some of y'all, this could be a fan. Like if you, if you, because somebody's a celebrity. Somebody is a celebrity or you have a high following that watch me. You like, you, you may have a high following that watch me. Or you could be a celebrity that watch me. Okay. And you would be amazed at who watch you. Um, a fan of yours is going to try to trigger you. So be careful. Be careful. This person ain't really a fan. Okay. It says a period of ill health and depression. So be careful. This is, could be like another attack. Um, look at that. 444. Four, four. You got protection from this shit though. So the enemy could also be trying to attack your health, have you depressed, but it was 444 as soon as that came out. So, you know, you got protection from that. Keep your protection up. Yeah. It says, moon, someone, someone, uh, someone is struggling with their female health, wound energy. You're going to be fine. You just need to keep, keep praying. Okay, you might need to cleanse, detox, something like that. You may need to do like a yoni steam or something. Somebody's struggling with their wound health. You're going to be fine, though. You just need to clean your eating up. If you need to do like a, um, a wound detox or something, um, maybe you connected with somebody who ha has um, nasty energy or some, something attached to them and it's attacking your wound. Don't sleep with this person no more. You need to clean. You need to clear that energy out your womb. Okay. What is this? Birth or con birth or conception of a child. Wow. That's a new beginning. For some of y'all, you may actually get pregnant. You may be pregnant now. Congratulations. You will receive the gift. In the stork. Oh my God. It's news of a baby. Somebody's going to have a freaking baby. Some, some of you guys is going to have a baby. I'm going to say this and I know it's going to sound crazy, but let, hear me out. Somebody's new person is a celebrity and you're going to have a, a baby with this person. With stork, 
you receive a gift and it says, this is, it says birth or conception of a child. And I said something about a celebrity with the moon energy. Somebody's, somebody's replacement person is a celebrity. And you've seen it. You've seen them in your dream already. You probably already been connecting with them or something like that. This person is well known. Well, well known. Okay. I'm going to give you a hint. This person is spiritual. I, maybe you saw this on them or maybe they hide it. All right. Um, it says, yep, an exciting event. There it is. This person could be like, this could be a younger man. Dealings or relationship with a younger man. A sincere wish will be granted. So for somebody specific, this is a, this guy, he may be younger. He may be younger than you. You on the road to success. You got some success. That's not for everybody. That's for somebody specific. Whoever this is, you already know who your man is because you saw him. You see him, you may even listen to his music or he's an actor. He don't have to be do music, but you know exactly who your person is. All right. Uh, I'm hearing he could actually be your real twin. Hmm. All right. Um, anything else, Spirit Fire? Wrap this reading up. Give me one more. Yeah. The world and man holding a coin. All right. So. And what is this? Divine masculine. Yep. Somebody's person is rich. And fertility. Here it is again. Somebody's person is rich as hell. Even if they're not a celebrity, they rich. They are very, very rich. And they're coming in. They're wrapping up a cycle too. You could be wrapping up a cycle. But with fertility is here again. You're going to have a baby by this person. You met this person in the past life. It says use your discernment and elevation. And this is going to make a lot of people hostile. They're going to be so fucking jealous. And with romantic love, yeah, it's going to make a lot of people going to be hostile, upset about this. They're going to be they gonna be envious as shit. Just want you to know that. And it's, this is your real divine masculine, whoever this is. Oh, they're going to be mad. This past person sure going to be hostile, but it don't matter. This, this, this person got demons. So, baby, you it's more things you need to be worried about, Okay. Yeah, look at that release. Yeah. Oh, as soon as you release, or if you've already released this person, if your person is not a celebrity, this person may be like well known in a spirit. They could have some type of status spiritually, but this person is definitely stable. Okay, or you you or you're going to uh, um, accumulate a lot of wealth with this person. You guys, yeah, seven one seven. So yeah, you and your whoever this new energy is, you guys are going to accumulate a lot of. You're going to have a lot of love and wealth with this person here. A lot of new beginnings. This person's going to appreciate you with appreciation. They're going to appreciate you the first time. All right. I heard they're going to put you on a pedestal. Yeah, victory. You're going to win with this person. It was always written to happen this way. You going this is. I heard victory lap. This person may be from California. Yep, there it is. Prosperity. Like I said, you're going to win with this person. You're going to be very prosperous with this person here. You're going to have a, like, when this person reach out to you, you're going to have a lot of anxiety initially. But the angel of love sent this person here. The angel of love sent this person to you. Yeah, friendliness. Respect. This person's going to be very friendly, very loving. They're going to respect you. You never have to worry about this person disrespecting you. This person is very respectful. You're going to be very satisfied, very satisfied with your new person. And this is, like I said, this, this go for everybody that's watching me, your person, you, they may not be a celebrity. The celebrity part is only for like two of y'all. Okay. Like spirit is saying it's very specific. It's a very, very, very slim, but it's somebody watching me. All right. But others of you guys. Your new person, you're going to accumulate a lot of wealth and prosperity. You still going to be wealthy anyway. Like it was written for you to have wealth, prosperity, honor, respect with this new person here. You may be well known or you're about to be well known. And maybe you and this person are going to sit in the spotlight together. Everybody don't want to be in the spotlight. Some of you guys, you're just going to 
accumulate a lot of wealth and prosperity and you're just going to give back and and just, you know, you and your person going to work silently behind the scenes together. That's beautiful, too. All right. Give me one more. Yep, there it is. Woman holding the coin. Can't make it up. The man holding the coin came out earlier. Yeah, this is, this is counterpart energy. You guys are going to be equal. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. Mm. All right, that's it. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. Let me know in the comment section down below what you know. Subscribe if you have not done so. What are you waiting for? Go ahead and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so then when I post a video, you guys are getting alert. I love you guys' life. Peace.